And so two fair dice are tossed. Determine the probability that the sum of the two dice is seven. Okay, so we can represent this in a couple of ways. Let's do it by a chart. Okay, so we have one, two, three, let this be the first die, let's say, and uh, five, six, and the second die, let's say if it's over here, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six. Okay, so if we sum this, we'll have two, three, so one plus one is two, two plus one is three, and so on. And you see very easily that this is five, six, seven. Now, I'm not going to write this down the whole way, but you should be able to observe that two plus five would give you seven, uh, and three plus four, and four plus three, and five plus two, and six plus one, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six total, uh, seven, seven, seven as a total, sorry. So there's totally six times six, 36 possibilities here. Okay, so the total number of possibilities is six times six, which is 36. All right, and we can get a total of seven, six times. So that probability is, just quite simply, um, probability of uh, sum of two, the sum of two dice is seven. So let's just say sum of seven. Maybe I could be more descriptive, but I'm just gonna write that for now. Is six out of 36, which is one over six. Okay, so it says, for part two, if the two dice are tossed 120 times, determine the expected number of times the sum will total seven. Okay, well, part two, we know that would be um, expected number of times, so say e of x, and let x be the random variable where this is, uh, it's totaling seven, the two dice are totaling seven. So we have one out of six times, so if we toss it six times, for example, to wrap our head around this, uh, we would get that would happen one time. Okay, so once again, if we were to toss two dice six times, then we would uh, expect it to happen one sixth of the time. So we would we'd see that total of seven just once. But of course, our question was not that. Our question was, what if we tossed it uh, 120 times? So this is what we would have. Okay, so this is the same as 120 divided by six, which is 20. Okay, and let's go on to part three, where it says, if the two dice are tossed 120 times, determine the probability that the sum of seven is tossed 18 to 22 times. Okay, so what that means is that we have the probability that it happens 18 times, plus the probability x equals 19, plus the probability it's 20 plus the probability is 21 and lastly it is 22 okay so that's one way of doing it but there's a, a more elegant way we can also just do the probability of x is less than or equal to 22 so that would be from 0 all the way to 22 subtracting the probability up to including 17 so we can use a calculator to help us uh, do both of these. But what you need to realize is that this is equivalent. If you're not quite seeing that, you have to realize that this is like saying 0, 1, 2, all the way to 22. Now we're subtracting 0 to 17. Okay, so maybe I should have done this a little better. I'm going to rewrite this as 0, 1, 2, okay, to 17. Okay, 18, 19, 20, Sorry, 20, 21, and 22. So now, if we were to um, maybe just rewrite this, this set, uh, 0 to 17, that would be this part. Okay, so that's this part right here. So of course, if we subtract all of this, subtract um, this part, what remains is clearly just 18 to 22. So that's why that's equivalent to this part up here. Okay, and uh, we keep on going around here. That's the same thing as this. And perhaps that wasn't necessary, but there you go. Okay, so once again, these two are equivalent. So now just to show that quickly, I'll pull up uh, this graphing calculator and we can go to second distribution. Okay, and uh, we want the binomial 
let's do it uh, both ways here. So we'll do binome PDF. Okay, the number of trials is 120. Okay, and the probability is 1 out of 6. And we want this to happen from 18 to 22. So this time we're just doing the individual case of right here, probability that x equals 18. Okay, and enter. Okay, instead of a uh, instead of um okay so let's just add this and repeat that and I wonder if there is a better way to do this individually okay but then we can do 19 here Actually, not quite sure if there's a copy and paste command here. I'm pretty sure there probably is, um, but let's just do it the long way for now. Okay, so um, PDF. Okay, and then let's go up to 20. Okay, enter. Okay, let's see if we can get this in a quicker way. So binomial PDF is a. Okay, so what I could do next time is maybe just press alpha A to speed this up. Okay, and the trials, I don't know why it disappeared, but 120, uh, 1 over 6, um, and we're now at 21, is it? I hope. Okay, and then plus, let's go to, um, let's try to make this quicker, do alpha, was it A or B? A, I think. Okay, 120, 16, okay, and 22. Enter, enter. So hopefully that's typed in all correctly. And we have that. Okay, so that was a long way. Now let's try it this way, which hopefully will speed things up. Okay, so second distribution. Okay, we want to go to this. Okay, the number of trials is 120. Okay, the probability is 1 out of 6. Your calculator is wired so that it's less than or equal to, so 22, okay, and then subtract, let's do it again, second distribution, um, right here, to 17, okay, and notice we, we changed, uh, we selected CD at this time, which I think stands for cumulative, but see if it hit enter and the two enters match so it's the three significant figures 45.9 percent all right so I'll just write that over here so therefore this equals 45.9 percent and we're all done